So here we have another classic villain, Two-Face, from Batman the Animated Series of the early 90s. So like all Kenner Batman Animated Series figures, on the top left you had the Batman Animated Series logo and the name of your villain. Two face, ages four and up, and you had artwork for the figure with firing roulette wheel gun. Now, obviously, this artwork was intended for the toy itself. I do not remember him having a roulette wheel gun in the series, but he is depicted accurately from the cartoons. And then you have the figure of Two-Face himself, just as he was in the series. And his accessories there, his roulette gun. And some more artwork on the bottom there of Gotham City. Warning. And the good old days of Kenner on the bottom. So let's take a look at the back. On the back, you had the Batman, Batman the animated series, Two Face, instructions on how to use the roulette wheel gun. And some little artwork there of Gotham City. And some more figurines from the line. And towards the bottom, your proof of purchase. Copyrights, Batman logo. And Kenner. So here we have... Two-Face, released in 1992, and the background of the packaging has that yellowish, reddish sky color to it. Well, there's red in the back and then yellow toward the bottom, and then you have Gotham City, artwork of Gotham City there. And Two-Face here was voiced by Richard Moe and his real name in the Batman animated series world as you all know Harvey Dent and a beautiful detailed figure of Two-Face as you can see on one side you have Harvey, and then if you switch it to the other side, Two-Face. Nice colors. He has somewhat, it's not white, but kind of like a mint. Mint color. Not completely white. And then the other half of Two-Face is black, obviously. There's a close-up of the head. And I like the gold chain here. He comes with a nice little gold chain. Moving on to the bottom, towards the bottom, just regular clothing. A white shoe for his right foot. And a black shoe for his left foot. For articulation, basic for these kind of figures back in the day. Pretty much just the hand moves up and down. 
legs up, down, up, down, and the head turns. So for Two Faces accessories, he comes with the roulette gun here. And it has on the spin wheel here, it says fire and safe. And it's spring loaded. So, what you do is basically grab this piece here. And peg it right into there. As is. And what you can do is if it's in the fire position. So basically, in the fire position there, there's a little part here, a little red-orange clip that won't go into a hole when it's in the fire position. So when it's in the fire position, all you're doing is this piece here, you're going to push up on it, and it releases this part here. It fires that part there, just like I'm about to do now. Let's try it on two face. You see, but when you load it, and if you put it in the safe position and push up, it won't fire because the little piece there on the top is not lining up with the empty hole that normally this part would go into. So it's pretty cool. It's a funny little gimmick there. So whenever Two-Face decides if you're gonna live, you're safe. If you're going to die and it's on fire, you're pretty much dead. And that goes onto his hand. right there and he'll decide your fate or not so let's say try it one more time let's put it on the fire position and there you go so that was the gimmick with the two face figure here and like always, I hope you've enjoyed my review on Kenner's Batman the Animated Series, Two-Face. Thank you for watching.